Nothing in their settled systems quite like me on. Crazy, terrible, but never dull me on. There should be a sign, dump your Aurora here. You'd make a fortune if you put a net right under here, I'm not even kidding. I told you. Look at this place. Ridiculous, right? Why would someone open a mining supplies business on an ocean planet? Exactly. You good? I can't believe this place is still open. I give it a few more months before this loser packs it in. Ah, uh, don't be such a jerk. We should look around and see if there's something we can buy. Yeah, sure. You want to waste your credits? You go right to hand. care who you work for you can't just oh you're the rookie aren't you the one and only well the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship truth is a lot of stolen goods flow through here but this city is real good at keeping its secrets even from us Yeah, about that. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Neon's a tough, tough assignment. The ecosystem is rigged against any real law enforcement. Good. That's a smart play. As much as it rankles. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton. 
does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. I know you could save everyone, but don't beat yourself up. It would have been an unfair expectation to think you could. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not, there are two things you don't do. You understand, Believe me. don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. Careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are ready. Hey, Billy. Got a second? What? Oh, gee. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of good ones. Check. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. Tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I can see where this is going. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now, my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. This Emmett Goodman sounds like a real class act. <sighs> yeah. He's bad even by neon standards. <laughs> That's saying something. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. The place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. If you think about it, if a neuroamp helps you get a better job, it basically pays for itself. Think of going to get one.
Anywhere else, a fish processing plant would be no big deal. But that's Bayou's River Gold. This is private property. You better keep walking. This is private property. Do you? I'm not falling for that. You're not getting past me. Maybe so. I hope I can trust you. I'm still willing to talk. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Yeah, this will get you in. Well now, look here. Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. I can't tell if he's kidding or not. If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. That is true. I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage.
wonder what daylight looks like. You better watch it. part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvage's. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. But with the disciples and all, I have a heart. Blame a fellow for trying, right? James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. Goodman? I'm doing great, actually. Thanks for asking. I mean, my life isn't perfect. Yeah. I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up.
Star Ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? That's unfortunate, but I don't know anything about it. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You know how it is out here. The strong take what they want from the weak. You're real cold-blooded, aren't you? If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It's not that simple. This isn't getting us anywhere. Look, I'd like to help, but... I hear you, but it doesn't change anything. I guess if I can't trust a Free Star Ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the First, and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech, and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery, and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh... Welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. What a city, am I right?
you doing, sweet pea? Well, I'm okay. But I'd be a lot better if... <laughs> I guess you'd be a lot better if you had a bigger book. <laughs> you know me so well, Dad. Navigation feedback checks out. We're in the right place. Next stop wouldn't be the Caribbean system, would it? To back, I shared a drink. Deputy. Look who it is. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. 
just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, deputy.
got what it takes to tackle the business world. Fancy yourself a megacorp megastar? Then jump on over to Neon and apply a person at Ryuge and Industries, the fastest rising corporation in all the world. Hey there. comes next.
The clinic's a bit of a legend in the medical field. Ma'am, I'm just a courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return. Between you and me, this place sees some weird cases. Gross ones, too. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead. Pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin, Sam Coe. Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? <laughs> I wish. She's twelve. <sighs> Almost a teenager? My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So, are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well, back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Just between you and me, Entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use Need some to help. Make sure those files are back someone up. who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you and Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else? I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer systems, so I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier, huh? Yeah, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad. The thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore? Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. People joke. Say those Varun zealots worship a snake. Let me tell you, it ain't a snake. 
It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. But they think it is. And that okay. makes Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for Never Maya a dull Cruz. moment. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. I'll keep looking, see if I can turn up anything else useful. Just one week without something weird. I'm no hypochondriac, no, but maybe we private. limit our time here. Please with all the sick people. Excuse me, what gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Well, I suppose I can give you a minute. Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. <sighs> I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. Well, the nature of my work requires a certain level of discretion, much as yours does. I've shared all that I'm willing to share with you, Deputy. You don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'd like to help, but... Sorry, but I can't. I can see that you still have doubts. If you don't believe me, then ask Mr. Miller at the desk. He can verify who I am and how I came to be here. I know your type. Freewheeling space ace. Must be nice. They say I'm ahead of schedule on my recovery. Mm -hmm. I say they ought to make better schedules. Hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just chat for a while. They all claim they're too busy. Ranger business? Oh, I can't imagine what for. Unless you're here to track down that no-account husband of mine, that is. You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, given I've been here as long as I have. But no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. So hire some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. Should we maybe, you know, move things along here, ma'am? 
You want to talk about questions, uh-huh. Well, I've got plenty of those. Starting with how come these so-called doctors can't find anything wrong with me? I have got no end of pains. Headaches, sore knees, sore back, digestive problems, and then in all manner of other ailments. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus. But these fool doctors can't figure it out. I'd had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. Well, ain't you smart, using them big words. If that's supposed to make me feel better, I got news for you. It don't. I thought the high and mighty Freestar Rangers were supposed to help others in need. If you ask me, I think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately. Well, go on then. Don't let the troubles of one poor citizen distract you from whatever higher calling you all answer to these days. Go. Do you have any luck? As a matter of fact, I do. I made some progress digging through the patient records, and I have one more lead for you. Her name's Catalina Rivera. She was rushed into surgery for some kind of emergency procedure. I probably shouldn't say this, but she was in real bad shape. The good news is, she seems to fit your suspect's profile. The bad news is that she's a guest in our VIP wing. That area is restricted to authorized clinic personnel. Even I can't go in there. Dr. Cassidy's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. You didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. Hope that helps you. Thinking about going into medicine, just be really sure before you commit to it. Really sure. I don't mean to be rude, but unless this is a medical emergency, please get someone else to help you. Yes, what do you want? I'm sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Who exactly are you? You could be Solomon Cole himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. There's no progress that bureaucracy can't ruin. Oh. I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? Clinic's a bit of a legend in the medical field.
city. Idiots probably nothing. Thanks for delivering critical supplies. Would be nice to hear once in a while. Separation complete.